It's the number one Ford fan here, Jerry Zimmer, and today I'm gonna to look at the all new Ford Escape ST line. If you wanna see my video of the Ford Escape Vignali, when the car comes out, it'll appear just up here. So this is the two liter EcoBoost turbo engine. It's got 183 kilowatts. It's got an eight speed gearbox. It gets about 8.6 liters per hundred combined in fuel economy. A couple of tests that some independent people have done said it's worse than that at 9.4. One of them said it was at 7.3. I'm driving the front wheel drive ST line version. There is an all wheel drive in the ST line and the Vignali. It's pretty standard with all Ford cars now that you get a five year unlimited kilometer warranty. The servicing is capped at $299 for four years, so every service is $299 and it won't be any more expensive than that. This two liter engine is super fast. It's just really surprised me with the 183 kilowatts. All right, so I'm pulling up to some lights and I'm gonna hit 70 as soon as I can. I've gotta turn the corner and then I'm gonna punch it. And I'm gonna put this into sports mode and see how fast, it, how long it takes us to get up to 70k. So I've just clicked it, you just hit the button here and right, so I'm just coming around the corner and now I'm stepping right on it and I'm there. So that was 70k per hour. The steering wheel is a two-way tilt plus te telescopic. So it's two-way tilt plus your telescopic, which is really handy. You bring it nice and close to your body. The steering is Responsive is a polite way of saying really jerky. There's no way to dampen the steering on the Escape, so it's, it's a learning process to be able to drive it really smoothly because it's very, very responsive. So it's got an eight inch display here and then a 12 inch full digital dash cluster here. It's on the ST line in the Vignali, but it's not in the standard Escape. Most of the vehicle settings for the car are in the eight inch screen and not in the digital cluster. Each mode has a different color so in the cluster, you can see now I'm in just normal mode, so it's nice and blue. Now the sports mode is red. It's got Ford Pass Connect, where it's got the modem built in, so you can do some things with starting it and unlocking it with your app. It's got Ford My Key, which each key can be customizable with a setting. So if you've got a younger person in the family, and you can change some of the settings in the car to restrict certain features of the car. So it has Ford Sync 3. Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. Now there's a huge recess for a drink bottle in the door, plus a smaller drink. And then there's two more drink cups here. There's alloy foot pedals in this model. There's also some wireless charging in the actual front here. So you can just put your mobile phone in there and it will wirelessly charge. There's also USB-C for fast charging. And there's also USB-A at the front here, plus a 12 volt charger as well. The head-up display is interesting, it's got street sign recognition. When you're in cruise control and it's set to adaptive, you can actually see the distance of a car in front of you and it actually signifies it with a little car and the car in front of you is a Mustang. So if the car is quite some distance away, it'll show the distance, how far the car is away in front of you and if it's quite close, it'll bring it up closer to you so you have some sort of aspect of how close the car is in front of you. There's front and rear parking alert at the front and the back of the car plus your reversing camera with the one-touch zoom. There's actually a good way to compare the models if you want to have a look and see what's the right model for you in the new Escape. You go to the Ford website, ford.com.au, and then go to the all new Escape. Click on that, and then it has a compared model set up. So you just compare the models, you click on the ones, and then you can see all the features that it has. Okay, just looking at the side of the car, you can see it's got the 18 inch rims. There's a different alloy rim for each model, the standard, the ST line and the Vignali. It's got puddle lamps here that shine down into the puddles in, at night. Also the metallic blue color carries across the bottom here. You've got indicator lines here. You've got some black rails here on top of the roof. You've got keyless entry here, ST line badging on the side. So looking at the front now, you've got daytime running lights, a fog light. Now there's something interesting that happens with the lights it's called light bending. I call it adaptive lights. So at night time when you're turning it will bend the lights a little bit so you can get more of a look to the side of the car as you're turning. It's an interesting uh, feature which I found quite handy last night. There's some sensors on the front as well. You've got the plastic grill. Each grill has a different look for the standard, this ST line and the Vignali as well. So switching around to the back of the car, you can see it's got some nice lines. LED light, a Ford Escape branding on the background, twin exhaust pipes with a silver tip on the end, and you've also got your automatic tailgate with the uh, 
key fob control. There's some quite good space in the back here. If you lift up here, it's a 17 inch actual spare tire. It's not a space saver. So you've got a 12 volt here. You've got the release here for the seats, which is handy. You don't have to lean forward. The seats actually slide forward as well, giving you more boot space. So they slide forward, which is very handy. There's some lighting back here, and there's a little bit of a hook here for holding your groceries down. So in the back seat, you can see that the driver's seat is pushed fully back and heaps of leg room. For me, again, six foot one setting, tall person in the driver's seat, tall person in the back, and you can just check out this room. Also, you've got the sliding seats that slide forward. On the back, you've got USB-C and USB-A chargers here for the people in the back. This is my favorite interior of any car I've reviewed for the year 2020. It's come on late, the last release of the year, the 2020 Escape. The interior is just so comfortable. So looking on the inside, there's a, it's like a carbon fiber look material here with a nice linen red accent stitching. Uh, the console is awesome. It's got a little uh, tray there as well as a 12 volt inside. It's got a, actually a little clip there for your pen, which is quite nice. I find this little bit here very handy, this console bit here, and all your buttons for your controls now, if you want to change the mode, so if you want to go to sports mode, if you want to control the start stop, and you can turn all your parking assist off as well. So if it's beeping away because you're, you're sitting near a bush and you know you're not moving, you can turn that off. Of course, the electronic gear shifter, stability controls turns on here. You've got your 12 volt, your wireless charging. Wireless charging works beautiful. You just slip it straight in there. It's a really easy angle to get to and you just pop it back out again. Dual climate control. Steering wheel has got a nice soft touch, leather touch with again the red accent stitching. All your cruise controls and your adaptive and your lane keeping management on this side. Or your Ford Sync 3 controls to answer your phone and also to move your way through some of the settings in the car. What I love here is because the gear stick is gone and you've got your digital shifter and your digital handbrake, it feels so roomy across here and the leg room is really nice. And the seats you can see are quite flat. They're not a sporty wraparound seat, so it's very comfortable. And there's an eight way adjustment, but it's all manual adjustment you can have. And they also have the heating built into them as well in this model. Head up display, uh, you know, it takes a bit of time to get used to, but the head up display is quite handy. Well, there it is. I hope you've enjoyed my look at the all new 2020 Escape ST line. Now, if you want to take this for a test drive, get on down to Stillwell, Ford and Unley. They'll be happy to take you for a ride and also keep your eye out for the hybrid plug-in 2020 Escape early next year, exclusive to Stillwell Ford in Unley. I'm Jerry Zimmer, the number one Ford fan. Thanks for watching.